happy people i'm back with another video and today i want to show you guys how to apply press-ons using acrylic and peel off base coat this is a method of applying press-on nails um to get them to last about i don't know maybe like a week week and a half still have easy removal and then also be able to re reuse your press-on nails i know i've had a lot of people um ask me about how they could reuse their press-on nails when applying them with acrylic um this is i coined this it's the rose beauty method this is a, a method that i I discovered when I used to just switch out my nail sets all the time um, when I was doing Gel-X nails um, prior to using acrylic um, but I found this method to be very effective especially when I was practicing acrylic nails so without further ado let's hop into it so this is the, the design I'm going to show you all how to do I left my thumbnail available so I could just practice on it I didn't want to do this on camera because I'm crunched for time and I just wanted to do my set really quick so the first thing you want to do is um, push back your cuticle, okay? Um, I did, I'm not going to prep my nail all the way because um, I'm planning on popping these off maybe after a week, but I just wanted them to be on for a little while. Um, so first you'll go back and you'll push back your cuticle, okay? Next you'll go through and you'll buff, buff the surface of your nail just to get it nice and rough, like so. Right. After that, you'll want to de dehydrate your nail with some alcohol, or in this case, I'm going to be going in with some swipe. And now to clean all the dust and debris from the nail, like so. Next, you want to go in with primer. I'm going to be using my primer from Young Nails. You will only apply one coat of primer this time. Typically, I, I apply two coats, but I'm only going to apply one for this particular method because, again, I'm going to be trying to pop these off after about a week. I don't want it to adhere too good. If you all are planning on wearing your nails for an extended period of time, um, skip this step. Next, I'm going to apply peel-off base coat. I'm going to go in with, with my Maran peel-off base coat. I'm running pretty low on this, so I think it's about time for me to get another bottle. And you'll apply this to the entire nail. And if you guys don't know, I do have a press on nail series here on my channel where I apply press on nails using different methods of application. Um, and so I will leave the link down in the description box below, okay? So you apply a nice thin layer of peel off base. And then you'll cure for 60 seconds. Okay, so after that's cured for 60 seconds, next you'll wanna go in with a matte top coat. Now this is gonna be the key to being able to apply acrylic on top of a peel-off base coat. When you apply it over this, uh, the, the peel-off base or even a regular base coat, there is a sticky layer that's on here. I don't know how well the acrylic will adhere to that, so I always apply a matte top coat and the matte top coat mimics a dehydrated nail bed. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply a matte top coat to this and then we can go on and apply our personal nails with acrylic. So then you'll cure this for 60 seconds. So now you guys can see that applying that matte top coat over the peel off base coat, it, uh, it allows for it to kind of mimic a dehydrated nail bed. So now I'm going to go in with my acrylic application. I am going to go in with my um, Young Nails acrylic and, and speed clear. And then I'm also going to go in with my Young Nails monomer. I do have my acrylic brush here from Young Nails. So I just have some monomer here in this little tiny dappen dish because I don't need much. I'm going to pick up a nice generous bead, like so. That's about how big the bead is. I'll let it set. And then I'll put it down on my thumb here, like so. And you just want to spread the acrylic out all over the nail. And if you feel like you don't have enough, just go ahead and add a little bit more. And it's okay to work with the acrylic kind of wet, because it's going to essentially be like glue, okay? Like so. Oops, I think I got a little bit too much on my hand. I think I let that one be too wet. <laughs> but let's go ahead and clean that up here. And then next you're gonna take your press on nail, like so. And you definitely wanna make sure you go in and etch the inside of your press on nail. I've already done that off camera. And then I'm gonna go ahead and apply the press on nail. I'm gonna slightly tuck it underneath my cuticle area and then press down. And you'll just continue to press down until the monomer well, until the acrylic starts to set 
and I normally press down for about I would say about 30 15 no about 30 seconds and if there's spillage on the sides don't worry about that if it's spillage underneath don't worry about that I'll show you guys how to clean that up here shortly So this is what it's looking like. So once the, once the acrylic has started to cure a little bit, you go in with your cuticle pusher and just go ahead and remove that excess uh, acrylic that kind of spewed out the sides and it's really easy to remove. You just go through like that and it kind of comes right off as you guys can see. And I'll go ahead and do that on the other side here. Again, you'll want to just take the cuticle uh, pusher and just gently scrape whatever is spilled out on the side off the nail and off your skin like so and then you do the same thing underneath right you'll go through and just remove any of that acrylic that is underneath your nail that way you don't have anything underneath your nail like so and yeah you're all good to go look at that nice beautiful application so then from here, you can go in with your design. Okay, happy people. I noticed I did this without a second thought, but another thing you can do to smooth out the sides in case your nail tip doesn't go sidewall to sidewall is go in with your brush and monomer. It smooths out that extra acrylic that's kind of in that space between your nail tip and your press on nail. And that's a great way to fill in that gap. Okay, so now that the nail is set, you can go ahead and go in with your design. So first you want to do is you want to clip the nail down to size. So I'm going to clip it down to right about here. I have an adjustable, um, I have an adjustable nail clipper, so I just have it here at number two. You'll go ahead and clip it down like so. From there, you'll want to just shape it really quick. So I'm going to shape it like so. Get a nice crisp square, and that looks good to me. Next, I'm going to go ahead and buff the surface of the nail. And that's just to remove the shine so that whatever design you put on top will adhere a little bit better. You'll go ahead and wipe it off with some alcohol, like so. And now your nail is ready for the design. And so I'm going to go in with a quick glitter ombre. I'm going to be using this really beautiful. Um, gel polish from Beatles. It's in the color C754. I do have a full unboxing of the kit that I got this from as well as um, a detailed tutorial on how to do glitter ombres. But I'm going to show you guys again really quick here. So with glitter ombres it's pretty easy. You'll go ahead and paint the tip of the nail with the glitter. Okay. Like so. You want to go about halfway down the nail. Like so. And then from there, you'll take your nail art brush and then you'll want to just slowly bring some of the glitter pieces down the nail. Alright, so I got that little chunky piece there. You'll, you'll continue to do that until you've kind of created that little ombre. But just slightly drag down some of the glitters, just kind of create like a little faded look. Like so. And once the glitters are where you want them to be, you'll go ahead and cure. Once you have cured that for 60 seconds, then you'll go in with your top coat and your design is all done. So I'm going to go ahead and apply top coat and then we'll get into the finished look, okay? going here. Alrighty, so this is how the nail is looking and this is how you achieve this beautiful glitter ombre set. I've been dying to do a glitter ombre for a while now so last thing left to do is to put on some cuticle oil you guys. Alright you guys, ain't she cute though? Yes, I am loving how my glitter ombre turned out on these nails. And again, this is me using um, acrylic and peel off base coat to apply my press on nails. I'm going to show you guys how long this uh, method of application will actually last. But yes, ain't she cute? I am loving how this turned out. Um, let me know what you guys think about it. I will be back with a one week update. Okay, happy people. I'm back with a one week update and this is how the nails are holding up. Um, again, these were applied using... Um, peel off base coat and acrylic so this is how the nails are looking 
they're still looking like I just did them. Uh, there's ever so slight new growth here at the cuticle for all the nails, but honestly, it's so minuscule, you really can't even tell. So yeah, y'all, I am loving this new growth here, new growth here, just ever so slightly. So yeah, y'all, I'm loving how this method is holding up. Like I said, it's the Rose Beauty Peel Off Method. It's a method I've been using for a really long time. But when I want to wear press-ons or gel-x nails for about a week or two, but still have an easy removal process, this is kind of what I do. Um, and so yeah, I will be back with another one week update. I'm not ready to take these off yet. Um, but yeah, oh, and I want to show you guys, there is absolutely no lifting at this point. And yes, there is peel off base coat underneath here. Um, typically with peel off base coat, I will have a little bit of lifting at this point. Typically after like three to five days, I have lifting. Um, but because I put down that primer, it does hold on to that peel off base a little bit better. So yeah, you guys, I'll be back with another update in about a week. And um, yeah, I've been getting tons of compliments on these nails. So I am absolutely loving them. I'm back with a quick update. And this is what the nails are looking like after two weeks of wear. Uh, okay, my little one is here with me. She she likes them as well. You like them? Yeah. Are they pretty? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, sweetie. Mommy, do nails? Yeah, I'm gonna do your nails right after this, okay? Yes. Okay, all right. All right, baby. Mwah. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so this is what the nails are looking like. This is what two weeks, oops. This is what two weeks of wear is looking like. That's the new growth there. Here on the thumb, you see it's starting to grow out. This here is what new growth looks like on this hand. And yeah, these nails held up really good. So this is what it looks like when you prep and use primer with peel off base coat. But what I love about this method is if you all are looking for a way to reuse your press on nails after you've applied them with acrylic, I've gotten a couple of questions about that in the comment section. Stop. I've gotten a couple comments. I've gotten a couple questions about that in the comment section. This is the method that I use if I want to reuse my press-ons. And so there is ever so slight lifting here, which is perfect because now it's about the time that I'll be ready to uh, switch out. Well, actually, there's no well, very, very minor lifting here, minor lifting here, almost no lifting on the thumb. Very, very minor. Well, actually, no lifting, no lifting on this thumb. Hold on, baby. Very, very severe lifting on this nail. It's gonna come off here shortly. Minor lifting here, minor lifting here, minor lifting here. This is where you want your nails to be at for easy removal, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys really quick on this nail here. When I say it's ready to come off, it's ready to come off. Look, it just boop, popped off just like that. So this press on now is ready to be reused and I applied it with acrylic. So it's an even stronger press on than it was originally because the acrylic is now on the inside of the nail tip. What you wanna do is you'll just file the stuff that's out. You, What you wanna do is you'll file whatever's on the inside of the nail and then do the same application process like I showed in the beginning but yeah that's what the nails looking like after it pops off I'm not going to try to pry the rest of these off simply because like I said I applied it with primer so it's a little bit hard to do harder to do but um when it when the nail comes off you'll see that there's just an ever so light film it's kind of like Elmer's glue um so it's kind of like Elmer's glue you just want to scrape it off really quick um and even if you don't scrape it off you could just use some acetone um the quick way that I like to take these off is I normally soak them in some hot water and then I'll take them off with a cuticle stick now I'm gonna be honest with you guys a lot of times if I'm not like trying to film the removal I'll just go and take a really nice hot shower and honestly I'll just take them off in the shower because the hot water is running and it's really easy to remove after that but I will go ahead and show you guys one hand here on camera um, so you guys can see what my removal process is but I'm gonna go ahead and just soak it in some hot water so give me one second let me get a bowl for you okay y'all so I do have a nice bowl of warm water here I'm gonna show you guys how I soak this off really quick um, what you want to do first is go in with some cuticle oil so what I like to do is I like to go in with some cuticle oil and I'll just kind of get it up underneath that nail there and that's just to kind of help that um, glue separate from the nail a little bit more and I'll do that under all the nails I'd be really I'm really generous with the um, oil because you know I want these nails to get on off so I'll go ahead and get that oil all up in there this one is not a lot of lifting though but I'm gonna still get that oil around that around here just to see if I can get it to start to lift and so from there I am going to go ahead and just soak my hands for about five minutes and as I'm soaking my hands I'm constantly pulling pushing on the tips of the nails kind of working that hot water and that oil into that nail bed so that the nails can pop right on off okay and I do normally use a nice I do normally use a wooden cuticle stick for the removal but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and just let it soak here <laughs> y'all hear my little one in the background 
I gotta do her nails today, y'all. <laughs> she been asking me to do her nails for like the last, I think actually the last couple weeks and I feel bad. I just haven't had time to do it. So I gotta make time today because they don't even take too long. Um, yeah, so let me just soak them all. This other hand, I'm gonna, I'm getting ready to take a shower right after this video. So this other hand, I'm gonna go ahead and soak off in the shower like I normally do. Bye. Get you, sweetie. Yeah. So I only let it soak for like about a minute. So I'm gonna go ahead and just work that cuticle stick underneath the nail here. And a lot of it comes down to just breaking that seal. Looks like it's already broken. So you come underneath the nail and then you just pop it right on off. Y'all see how easy that was to remove? And so again, I'll come around the edge here, kind of break that seal. Be careful with breaking the seal too, because a lot of times when you apply it like this, acrylic got on your natural nail. So you just want to kind of get that acrylic lifted from your natural nail and then the rest to come up. You all see here, you kind of put it underneath here and then twist and the nail comes right on off. Y'all see that? But these nails would have actually lasted maybe like another week with the exception of that index finger. But yeah, these are ready to come off, which is awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and finish removing them. Like so. Just like that. You see, and it's gonna pop right off. There we go. <laughs> and then over here. Now this one might be the one that's a little bit tougher to get. Let's see, is there any lifting? Okay, I think I can get this one off too. There we go. Just gonna work that cuticle stick underneath that nail there. You wanna be, like I said, really gentle with it. But it'll pop right on off once you get to working it in a bit. Like so. Like so. And I'm just going to soak for just a little bit longer. I'm going to trash. Okay. Like so. It's pretty much off now at this point. Y'all see it coming on off. So now I'll come on this side and just kind of loosen it, separate it from the nail. And look at that, pop right on off. So yeah, you guys, this is how you remove press-ons that are applied with peel-off base and acrylic. Um, sorry for all the water, y'all. The water all over the place, but <laughs> this is what the removal process looks like. The nails are all nice and healthy. Um, the only thing I'll do is I'll go through, like I said, and remove that little bit of... Um, like the nail glue that's still on the nail, but it's not really a lot. A lot of it is just how that primer really like held on to that nail glue and made it adhere really well. But no damage to the natural nails. You guys see how nice and easy that was. And if you want to, now you can go ahead and wear your natural nails for another set. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video, this this quick tutorial, just showing you guys how to reuse press on nails that were applied with acrylic. Because again, like I said, I got that question in a lot of my videos and let me know what you guys think about this method will you try it have you tried it before I kind of call it the rose beauty peel off method because that's kind of just a method that I use when I do um, my press on nails um, and so yeah let me know what you guys think let me know if you give it a try and if it works for you I do upload every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family I'd love to have you and as always you guys Leave some love in the comments down below, yeah. and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye! Bye.